Hello friends, this video on S-Block Elements Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. There are some anomalous properties of lithium and that is mostly because of the small size of lithium. We'll discuss that, anomalous property. So these, as I told, they are mostly the size, small size of the lithium atoms and the high charge to uh, size ratio, charge to lithium ratio. So it has higher polarizing power, it can attract water molecules, it can do other stuff which other uh, group 1 elements can't do. So it has some different alumni property. And these alumni properties are classified in two buckets. The first is the difference from alkali metal. And the similarity is the second is the similarity with the magnesium uh, element. That's what the diagonal thing I'm talking about. So I have lithium here, I have magnesium here. This is group 1 and this is group 2. Right? So they have similar properties. And they have difference. The lithium has different property as compared to alkali metal. So let's talk about the first thing that is difference of uh, behavior from alkali metal. So the first difference is that lithium is much harder. It's very very hard as compared to other alkali metals. It has very very high uh, melting and boiling points. Why? Because the size is so small and it forms very good crystals and since the crystal is very high, good, the crystal enthalpy is very high, it, it needs huge energy to break the crystal. Right? Crystal is least reactive and it's a very strong reducing agent. That's another. When you burn the uh, lithium in air, it forms Li2O and lithium nitride also. For example, lithium, if I can write lithium in terms of nitrogen, gives lithium nitride. So, lithium burns in nitrogen also. Other alkali metals, they don't burn in. Nitrogen. Since lithium size is very small, Li plus, it, it attracts water. So when it is hydrated, it forms LiCl 2H2O. But other alkali metals, they don't form hydrates. So lithium is the only one that forms hydrates. Lithium hydrogen carbon does not obtain in the solid form, but for other it is obtained because the lithium size is small and HCO3 minus the hydrogen carbon and is big. So it is a little unstable. Right? So it is not stable, so it does not form in solid form. But for other ones, since the other uh, elements like sodium, potassium size is a little bigger, so the, the other metal carbonates are, the hydrogen carbonates are a little stable. Lithium, they don't, it doesn't form it, uh, ethynate on reaction with ethene. When you react with ethene, lithium, they don't, uh, lithium doesn't form ethynate. But other alkali metals form. Lithium nitrates, uh, when reacted with lithium oxide, sorry, the lithium nitrate when heated gives lithium oxide, but the other alkali metals they give the corresponding nitrate. I can write the reaction for this. Let me write here. So I have lithium nitrate. When you heat this, I get Li2O and NO2 gas. And you can balance this if you want. So the balance reaction will be this guy but other alkali metals for example take sodium nitrate when you heat this you get NaNO2 plus O2 you can balance this as well an example again potassium nitrate it give, it give you potassium nitrate so if you see there is a difference in the way the lithium reacts it gives oxide this gives nitrate Correct. This lithium fluoride, lithium oxide, they are less soluble in water. Why? Because it's a covalent bond actually. Covalent bond. But the other bonds are generally ionic bonds. If you talk about sodium, potassium, they generally form ionic bond, but lithium generally forms covalent bond. So they are less soluble in water and more soluble in alkali metals. One more difference which we already studied is lithium when reacts with oxygen and assume there are plenty of oxygen so lithium when reacts with lot of oxygen gives lithium oxide always right but if you see other alkali metals sodium potassium they form peroxides or they form superoxides this we have studied right so lithium always forms uh, oxides even if you give more oxygen but sodium and potassium they form superoxides in the 
The other uh, difference is the lithium hydroxide is a weak base. Actually, it's a weak base, but the other uh, hydroxide, for example, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxides, they are very, very strong base. Also, one difference is the, the reaction with the carbon. Lithium directly reacts with carbon to form lithium carbide. But other uh, alpha metals don't react directly. There are so many difference uh, that lithium has with alkali metals. Now let's understand the similarity between the lithium and magnesium. So, lithium and magnesium similarity with sodium. So here also it is the size which is almost same for lithium and magnesium that we have similar property. So if you see the similarity is generally because of the similar size. The first similarity is if you see both are harder and lighter than most of the elements in this respective group. For example, if you compare lithium with potassium, lithium is harder and lighter than potassium. Similarly, if you see magnesium and calcium, magnesium is harder and light, uh, lighter than calcium. So that way they both are lighter and harder when compared to other elements in their respective groups. They both react slowly with water, right? And even if you heat with excess oxygen, they always form, uh, sorry, their oxides and hydroxides are less soluble. And their hydroxides decompose on heating. They have similar property in this. They both form nitrites when they directly react with nitrogen. And uh, even if you heat uh, lithium or magnesium with excess oxygen, they always form oxide. They don't form superoxide, which uh, other elements of the if they group form. And the carbonates of lithium and magnesium, they all uh, easily decompose. Why? Because the difference in size, lithium and magnesium are small and carbonate is a big ion. So uh, the difference in size between the lithium and the carbonate is there. The difference in size between the magnesium and carbonate is there. So the lithium carbonate is, is, and magnesium carbonate both are little unstable and both decompose on heating. So solid, solid hydrogen carbonates are not formed. Again, this is a size issue. The lithium and the magnesium are small, right? So they are not formed for lithium and magnesium hydrogen carbonates. Both lithium chloride and magnesium chloride soluble in ethanol because of the covalent characteristics which they have got because of the small size and high charge density ratio. And both when hydrated form hydrates when dissolved water. Why? Because since both are small and they have high charge. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.